Scrap Mechanic, today we are taking a look at this vehicle that I made. Uh, I was ma I just made this vehicle to get from point A to point B because I was working on a rocket and it launched way off into the distance. And uh, so I wanted to get back over to uh, my like base of operations. And so I made this car. Now I started off with small wheels and I moved up to the big ones. Got some nice headlights there, a little Mad Max ramp thing in the front. And uh, the purpose of this vehicle is twofold. One, to help me get up big steep hills, which it does quite well with the thruster. And two, to flip itself over if it gets flipped over. Now, uh, I need to actually flip it first in order to show this, but uh, I'll just kind of show you. We've got several buttons here. We've got two buttons, a controller in the back. We've got an engine that doesn't do anything really, just sitting there. A thruster, wheels, and uh, these things, and I'll show you what, it, what those do. And so, uh, it works remarkably well. It steers and drives very, very fluidly. I love the feel of this thing. I think I could improve it even more if I extended the front wheels out, because I think that would allow us to, uh, you know, have a little bit longer before our wheels come off the ground. In some certain, in some cases. Here we go. Flip over. It, it's actually kind of difficult to get this thing to flip over. I've been trying to. Let me see if I can find this. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. It just won't it won't flip sometimes. I guess I made a, a, a somewhat non-flippable vehicle. I find it funny that some people uh, put have put out designs saying like non-flippable vehicle, but uh, they flip no matter what, pretty much. Okay, here we go. Just get some air and flip over. See the pro the problem is with trying to get it to flip is that it has these wheels in the back, and so it. Uh, it catches on those wheels. Here's a steep hill. Flip over. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dang it. It's too good. I made it too good. Alright, so anyway. <laughs> what it does. Uh, the way I can get this to flip over uh, pretty easily here. I just need to change the rotation of these. And I can get it to flip. Uh, because all I have to do is hop in here, uh, hit two, push yourself forward, and then I can flip it back over. Okay, so let's say, just imagine with me for a second that my remarkable vehicle did flip itself over, and uh, we get we're stuck in it upside down. We need we need help getting back over. What it does is it pushes itself over. It's very simple. And so I made these arms extend long enough so that when it's flipped over, it will push itself back over. And it's got enough force that it will basically like leapfrog and spring forward. And so that's kind of, uh, that's the basic concept. But the thing, because it's heavy in the back and everything, it just, it just won't flip. It just won't flip, which I guess is good. And I guess we could probably manage to get it to do it if we take it off uh, like a jump or something or we hit rocks just right or we, or we kind of roll it there we go oh my gosh it's just it's just too good all right so i'll take you to my uh to my rocket ship i mean i made a pretty cool rocket ship it's in it it actually you can steer it but the thing is is that i suck with hitting the buttons at the right time and so pretty much i've i've given up on trying to do anything with a rocket uh, where is it? It's over here in the distance. I can see it. So this thing gets up and goes, man. It's oh, look at his face. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's so fast. This thing is so fast. <laughs> okay, here's the rocket ship. All right. So the thing with the rocket ship is it upside down? No, it's not. Okay. So the thing with the rocket ship is that uh, I can't get it to get uh, off this wall and get stuck. Okay. So basically, what I've done. Uh, I'll kind of show you, is that it can be steered left and right. Um, I guess it probably would help if I had it going the right way, the way that I want it to go at least. So it can be steered left and right, and then um, we have several buttons. One one is the front thruster here, three is the, th the thruster in the back, and two, th thrust down. And so if I need to kind of stabilize it, and I think the better way to do this, and I just now thought about this, is to have four separate buttons, uh, 
thrust in the front and thrust in the back down, and so you l l level it off. Um, so let me see, can I, um, oh gosh, I shouldn't have put these buttons together because I don't know what's what. Let's just take these off. We'll keep those on, the ones in the back on two. And then we'll make an, a third, uh, a fourth button. And we're gonna, gonna connect it to our driver's seat. So we can see it from the driver's seat. And we'll do that. So now we should have, okay. So if we need to stabilize, we can do it. Oh, oh, there we go. That's actually way better than my uh, original design. This has actually been improved like a couple times because I didn't, I had it asymmetrical at first and then I, I couldn't figure out what was going on and it was just because one thing was slightly off, man. It was crazy. See, uh, but the problem is what hap what I've done now is that I have, oh, I have uh, the button set, like this is on two and this is on four. And so I've got it messed, I've got it really messed up, man. But now this thing is capable of flipping itself over. So anyway, this thing has the ability to uh, steer when you can't actually get to the steer. I think the biggest problem is that, um, the biggest problem for me, there we go, then push it down, push it down. Huh, I can't get it to flip over now. It's like stuck in the ground. The biggest problem for me is that I can't hit the buttons at the right time, and so I really like, I really screw myself over um, because I, I just want to have the button set wrong and two, it's, um, uh, it's just, uh, hard for me to do it. And so this is, this is a very, very basic, this is a very simple design. Um, you know, you have these thrusters going to the driver's seat, these thrusters going to the driver's seat, these thrusters going to the driver's seat, and then, um, pretty much everything. So the steering ones obviously are on a, on a bearing itself. And so it's a very simple steer, and uh, you I think you could make everything balanced essentially. So these are in the buttons, all of these, and uh, short of that, I mean it's just as I mean it's as simple as taking off. See that's that's the issue. I think it would be better if uh, this design had like like one thruster instead of two uh, when it's when it's you know doing different things. I think that design would be a lot better. All right, so let's take this beast and uh, let's go back towards our transforming house. Um, there was a new patch and I think it it corrected some of the issues with uh, s like save data being lost and stuff. Actually, you know what? Let's uh let's see if we can do let's see if we can do something to this. Um, I like I like the way it is, but I think we can expand upon it even more by uh, moving those moving these wheels out in the front even further. Well, let's get our wood block back out. When we will just make it even with the uh, front of the car. Goodbye, goodbye, blackheads, black and blacks. Okay, so we'll put our rotation, and then we'll put our suspension, which I put away. Then we'll put our block down, and our bearing, and then our giant wheel. Okay, so that's one side. And uh, I'm going to make sure this is all steering the same way. And it is not. And then I think I had this set to three. Don't lie to me. It is not. Yeah, because I think this will this will help with the overall like just kind of scaling around things. Because it it definitely uh, works pretty well going up hills, but it's not as good as I would like it to be. Okay, here we go. So I think this will uh will work a little bit better. And I think if we wanted to improve it even more, we can make things 
the base even wider. Oh yeah, man, this thing is like, because if we made the base even wider, like right there in that case, it wouldn't even get even anywhere near flipping over. This thing is just re like, it's such a simple design, but it's, it's, it's very functional. The only thing you have to watch out for with those arms is that if you uh, get too close to a bush or something like that. You know, like this whole time though, like I, I just wanted to flip the thing one time. <gasps> and then we get, and then we hit a rock and we lose it. We have it, and we have the flip, and then we lose it. I just want to see it flip itself over. Is that too much to ask? I gotta take this thing off. A I haven't even actually explored the entire map yet. We should, uh, we should drive around a little bit more, and see what's see what's where. It would be very interesting to see what they could do with this game. There's so many, there's so many like possibilities that it's just very exciting. Also, like if you had the ability, if you if you like bro if you could. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's sick. Here we go. We're flipped over. Never mind. I take it back. It's just, dude, you can't, this thing, you can't flip this thing. No matter what I do. I keep, I keep trying. Oh, there we go. If I would have kept going, it would have been fine right there. All right. Enable flippage. Oh yeah. If I would have kept going, I would have been fine, actually. It wouldn't have flipped. Here we go. See, it just won't flip because those arms actually act as, like, a counter to, uh... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Completely flipped. There we go. Oh, no. My car flipped. Uh, help me get back over. Yeah, baby. We got it. Look at that. So good. Well, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Just wanted to show you a very simple way to uh, get your vehicle to flip back over. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. And uh, to show you my uh, steerable rocket ship, even though I suck at steering it. Maybe somebody who's more skilled can make that design and do better with it. Until next time, guys, hopefully you have a good time in, uh, in the game and you're having a great time in your life. Hopefully things are going well for you. Oh, no, I've fallen and I can't get back up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.